If you've ever tried to do a household chore, you know the right tool can make the job a lot easier. Well, making a great meal is no exception. In our next story, Miranda Cohen found a true master craftsman in Knoxville who's sharpening his skills by making exquisite works of culinary art. John Phillips, the founder of Phillips Forged in Knoxville, has always loved working with his hands. With a degree in fine arts from the University of Tennessee, he learned his passion was working with metal. As his natural talent grew larger, his works grew smaller. I've always had a love for things that you can hold in your hand and you can look at and see the small details in. And so it felt really good to be able to take all the skills I learned from blacksmithing and from making big sculptures and big piece of furniture and just kind of shrink all that down and take all those details and just compress them into one object that you can hold in your hand. As an artist, John started funding his dreams by working as a line cook in the food industry. And suddenly he had three real interests and found a way to forge them all together. At a certain point, I decided I wanted to combine the woodwork, the metalwork, the love of food and make my own knife. And I had these chefs that worked with me that would bring in these knife rolls with all these knives that they'd collected through their careers. And I thought it was so cool that they had these like magic tools that they would, they would come and unveil and they would never let anyone else touch. Now celebrity chefs and culinary stars from places like the exclusive Blackberry Farm are taking notice of him using his blades in their kitchens and featuring his knives in their catalog. So I make big chef's knives that are traditional kind of rolled belly knives. I make long slicing knives. I make bread knives with serrated edges. I make paring knives. I make meat cleavers. Each one of Philip's edgy creations is a masterpiece of style and function. He has perfected the meticulous craft of forging the finest steel into precise blades and carving native wood into ergonomically designed handles. Philip starts each knife with raw steel cut on a bandsaw. Next thing we do is we take all those pieces of metal and we clean them up and stack them together in the vise. Each metal brings its own metallurgical content. So I'll just put this in and let it cook. Then he will place the steel in this custom designed machine where 84,000 pounds of pressure on this hydraulic press at 2,000 degrees will weld the metals together. And we just keep on reducing it down to about an eighth of an inch. Next is hammering, grinding, and dipping into an acid to reveal the mixed metal's natural beauty. You see that pattern already starting to pop out there. Those layers are starting to pop out. Then we'll come sanding, sharpening, and adding the custom-made wooden handles. All the handles I make from a special pieces of wood where I, I select special woods that have beautiful burls or spalting, which is a fungus that can form in the wood that creates really beautiful patterns. So I try to always find woods that are going to complement the steel that they're going along with. Each knife will take anywhere from 10 to 40 hours to create, and no two pieces are ever alike. One of the most important things to John is that his beautiful works of art not be hidden away or put in a drawer. In fact, he would love for them to be used in the kitchen every day. Usually the first thing that people tell me is that they're too beautiful to use, which I take as a compliment, but I hope that people do use them as much as possible. Most of the knives that I make are a combination of European style and Japanese style, and I'm pretty much making a knife to take care of any chore in the kitchen. 
Guided by the master's hand, the metal and wood come together to create something much more than a culinary tool. It is said that steel sharpens steel, meaning people make other people better. John Phillips is trying to do just that. So I specialize in just making culinary knives. I don't really have much interest in making weapons or making anything used for destruction. Instead, to me, knives are things that can create beautiful works of art. I'm more interested in creating a piece of art to create more art and to kind of keep this cycle of inspiration going. A true passion, creating unique, custom-made culinary tools that will carve out their own legacy. It's a lot of work. Like, I don't hide the fact that I really sweat and bleed over these things, but I really love it and really enjoy it. And there's something really rewarding about, like, all the process and all these small steps. And then at the end, you have this thing that's going to outlast all of us.